All right, everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss Drawn Sword 360 Flat. Um, there's something I wanted to mention and talk about. It caught my attention while I was kind of just messing around with it. So let's go ahead and take it apart real quick and dissect it. All right, so we have the blade, right? Drawn Sword 360 and flat, right? That's our parts. So the thing I want to discuss is something similar to other bays is that this ratchet has three points, right? One, two, and three. Now on the drawn sword bay, uh, layer, if you match it up, you can actually match the ratchet up with the extended like the actual blades of the layer right there yeah you can see it right there it's more centered with the blades and then you flip it around and then it becomes more centered with the front of the blade right so my my thing is is just like with excalius you know when excalius say this is excalius i don't have excalius out right now um he's put away so say this is excalius right you know with most excalius layers it starts like that and then as that triangle piece the tip of the triangle gets more centered with the layer you know more damage can be done because the metal point lines up with the metal sword on um excalius or just like with um actually a good one and I have it right here. Actually, we have two of them. We have our two metal fight bays that we used in the video last night, if you guys watched it. We have Meteo El Drago that has a barrage and an absorb mode. And then Omega Dragonis has a mode change as well. Whereas if this is covering one way, it does a specific thing. And then if it's covering these little holes right here, it does something else. Um, don't ask me what it is. I don't remember. It's been so long, you guys. I'm just going to out myself. But, so my question and my theory is if you line up the ratchet a specific way. So, like, right now I have it centered with the blades, right? On the lair. So this, in theory, I would presume would have a greater attack, right? Because all the blades are lined up. Whereas lining it up with the front of the blade kind of gives it that six bladed gimmick right so it should either increase the stamina or the defense um so yeah let's go ahead and test it i still don't have the beyblade x uh dash stadium yet um i'm working on that you guys i literally just picked this bay up i just literally got it yesterday so it'll be a a couple days or a paycheck before I can get that stadium set. Um, cause I'm going to go after the stadium set first, but anyways, that's not what we're here to discuss. So we're going to use two types of stadiums real quick for this. We have our, um, pro series elite stadium, right? And then I got to thinking, and what is the one what is the one set of base stadiums for Hasbro for Burst that kind of resembles the gimmick for the Extreme line? We have our Rail Rush Stadium. So we're going to be using both. Um, the reason why we're going to be using both is because this is a good, you know, standardized stadium. It's good to test. And it's good for battles, too. Um, and this one's good to test, kind of test the gimmick especially in a in a hasbro stadium you know let's we'll use that as our tester as well for somewhat the gimmick can't really do the gimmick until i get the uh stadium so this is the best i got guys all right so i'm gonna fix that camera angle real quick zoom in on a little bit and so i have it lined up with the six with the three blades on the ratchet in front of the blades kind of giving it that six blade gimmick all right three two one
And right now what we're doing is we're just seeing how long it runs for. Now it seems pretty stable, you guys. It doesn't seem like it's tilted or anything like that. And it did just immediately catch the lip of that stadium. So we're sitting right roughly about 30 seconds. And then we'll switch it the other way. I just haven't seen anybody really talk about this. Um, so, you know, me and, a, me and someone that I'm friends with, we were talking about it and, you know, we were getting to think that maybe there is something there and just nobody's caught on to it yet. All right, we're sitting roughly about a minute, a minute and 17 seconds. So a minute and 20 seconds, give or take minute and 20 seconds for that. Now we'll flip the ratchet the other direction, right? And line up the three blades with the three blades, set up our launcher. And then once when that clock, once when that time on the video refreshes, so we'll wait for a second, then we'll go ahead and start the second round. It has to beat a minute and 20. All right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go shoot. So yeah, you can hear the difference. It sounds much heavier. And as you can see, it slowed down a lot more too. Right. 21 seconds. It definitely slowed down a lot quicker. So this is probably more leaned to a heavier attack setup. So if you have the three blades of the ratchet lined up with the center of the three blades on the layer, it's probably going to be more aimed for heavier attacks. Okay. We're almost at a minute. Because you can definitely hear the difference. The sound of the Beyblade just also sounds different. Now, these Beyblades are still pretty fun. I, I enjoy every minute of this Bay so far. I just can't wait to, actually, we just passed a minute and 20, you guys. A minute and 20 seconds. 25, minute and 26 seconds. Okay, so good, very good to know. Um, we won't do the stadium, we won't do this yet. Uh, the reason being is because I'm gonna pick two bays, right? And I think our first tester bay, and I hate to do this to my, my favorite prototype bay. Our first tester bay is going to be DX Curbeus. The reason why I'm choosing DX Curbeus is just due to the fact that, uh, oh, just due to the fact it's a good baseline, you know, to be able to tell if you're getting the accurate hits or not. Our next bay, mm, here we go. Our next bait is going to be Bushin Ashura. And I feel like the Bushin Ashura is going to be a decent defense bay without being too OP. Um, ah, you know what? I take it back. We didn't use it in the last video. We'll try and use it in this video. Roar Bahamut. All right. So we have a left spin bay blade and a right spin bay blade. And then our... Um, um <laughs> our x beyblade now we're setting it up right now with the ratchet aligned with the uh sword the blades of the lair so let's get that locked on the launcher we will grab kerbeus three two one I 
then an immediate KO, you guys. Just immediately KOs Kerbeus. Okay. Pick up drawn sword there. So now what we're gonna do real quick. So definitely good to know that it just immediately KO'd Kerbeus with the sword with the blade aligned with the the ratchet aligned with the um lair. Now we're gonna do it the other way. Right? Oh no, I had it aligned. Never mind. Um Give me one second, you guys. There we go. All right, so now we have it um, kind of where it would be a six blade setup. And let's put Drawn Sword on that launcher real quick. Now I gotta say, I love, I'm a fan of this launcher. Launcher hands down is my favorite launcher ever made. All right, three, two, one. And I want more of a three, two, one. There we go. Okay. Let's try that again real quick. Three, two, one. Very, it definitely seems a lot more stable because if you noticed, every single time it was hitting Curbeus, it didn't de uh, deviate from the lip of the state, the lip of the stadium. So it definitely seems more stable with the ratchet not aligned with the blades. Um, let's try and do Roar Bahamut. Roar Bahamut's a little bit. Uh, you know what? No. Okay, yeah, I, I I said we'll do Roar Bahamut. Let's do Roar Bahamut. Um, the only reason why I'm slightly against Roar Bahamut is the driver has a free spinning ball, and y'all know whenever we have a free spinning ball, the these driver these launch bays just go crazy. All right, three, two, one. Now this is the six sided. Yeah, you can just hear the difference in the bay. So I think it's more balanced. It sounds like it's more balanced with the blades misaligned um, with the ratchet rather than aligned with the ratchet. And then the aligning the ratchet with the blades on the lair is gonna be for a heavier attack. And honestly, this will be something, and this will be a pretty cool theory to test with the other bays when I get the other bays as well, because then we can find out if, you know, there is a difference. Aurora Bahamut's just still sitting there. Still sitting there, you guys. Not even phased. And then I kind of figured Aurora Bahamut was gonna win that one. All right, so now then, let's take the ratchet off, flip it 180, align it with the blades. And Launcher set up. Three, two, one. It's drawn sword. Drawn sword is actually going. It's actually going counter. That's funny.
All right. Yeah, so definitely seems like it hits heavier set up this way. All right, now then let's change stadiums and we will change bays. Of course, our tester bay, our initial is gonna be Corbeus. Now this time what I wanna test out is, let's do, you know what? Yeah, this time we'll do, and I'm gonna be using defense bays. I feel like defense bays are a good way to test um, this theory. We'll do Kerbeus, and then we'll do Bushin Ashura. All right, we'll do Kerbeus first, and we'll keep the setup the same um, with the blades aligned with the ratchet. Three, two, one. Ooh, there we go. Very nice. Took it a couple hits, but then again, we have stuff going on in the stadium this time, not just a stadium. So, and it's cool to see that it does the rail, ru the, the rail rush pretty well, so. All right, so let's misalign this ratchet real quick. Flip it 180. It'll be nice to test this theory when I do get the actual stadium, because then I can have one drawn sword set up the other way while I have one with the blades aligned with the ratchet. Cause then we'll be able to actually tell if there's a difference. All right, three, two, one. It definitely hits that rail rush more often, that's for sure. And it hasn't it hasn't burst Curbeus. Oh, there we go. Now it burst Curbeus. But it took a lot longer to burst Curbeus because it kept wanting to hit that gimmick. So it definitely seems more balanced this way. All right. Now we're moving on to Bushin Ashura. All right, and then we'll keep the blade and the ratchet as it is. Okay, Bushin Ashura, three, two, one. Very nice. I was not expecting it to boot, bur, uh, burst Ashura, and Ashura is in its stock. Now granted, Ashura is probably one of the worst GT bays ever made. Just the fact that um, it burst it was still pretty cool, as my voice cracks. All right, so now let's align the ratchet with the um, blades on the lair, get it set up. Like I said, this is just, this is a working theory. It's not necessarily a, uh, it's not necessarily saying that it actually works. Three, two, one. Now this should have a heavier attack. Oh, very nice. Very nice, very nice indeed. Um, yeah, you can definitely tell that it's heavier because it, the other way it didn't get stuck. Um, it always get itself out of before it get, got stuck on the rail rush. This this way, it definitely got stuck on the rail rush as you can see right here. But when it did make contact, it did like extremely hurt Ashura. Um, let's do one, a couple more other bays. Let's do our boy Sword Valkyrie. We have Sword Valkyrie. All right. Three, two, one. Sword 
Pollard versus Taylor. Calm down there. Okay, so it did burst sword. Very nice. Um, it did seem like it hit it pretty hard. Now then, and Sword Valkyrie has the same gimmick, same setup in a sense with Blitz being that once when the dry, once when the blades are aligned, um, you know, it's supposed to do, it's supposed to have a greater effect with the all over performance of the day. All right, so now let's switch this again. And don't worry, we will get to the Luminor, uh, the Longinus Bay, because we'll be using Guilty. We will be using Guilty, you guys. All right, three, two, one. Yeah, so it definitely wants to stay more outer on the stadium than trying to go on the inside. So I would say this is more balanced out. Oh yeah, no. So I would say having it this way is more balanced out. Um, and you're going to have an equal weight distribute, uh, distribution. Whereas having the blades aligned with the ratchet is going to increase your attack power. So that's what it honestly seems like. All right. I promise guilty we're bringing the pain guilty. All right, the last bay we are testing. Okay, so we got guilty set up on the launcher. All right, three, two, one. This one's gonna be a little bit hard to do, so just bear with me, three, two, one. There we go. Guilty just tosses drawn sword out of the stadium. Yeah, no, not much for not much for that damage factor though. So not even a click. Alright, so now let's set it up the other direction. I am definitely more like highly interested in getting more of these uh, Beyblade X bays. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So it definitely had a different effect on the bay. That is for sure. Um, it tries to recover, but it didn't. It wasn't able to. We'll try this again real quick. Three, two, one. If Drawn Sword could actually evade, it'll... Oh, man. So, I would definitely... I would definitely say that there's a difference. Um, how much of a difference? I'm not too sure. Because you'd honestly have to weigh it. You'd have to weigh the bay set up like this with the blades aligned with the ratchet. And then you'd have to weigh the bay this way to see if there's a difference in weight. Which there, pro there might be. i not too sure. I have to get my hands on a scale. I am super stoked about this though. Like this is honestly pretty cool. <laughs> Definitely will probably use one of the other stadiums for it though. Um, yeah, cause I got the other versions of the stadium. Like I have the, more, the larger green one and then the um, champions set for uh, Slingshot. So, definitely going to be something I do in the future here. But yeah, no. So honestly, I would say 
testing it out, there is a difference. Um, it's just whether or not there's a great difference or if it just is minuscule is what's to question about it. And like I said, until I get the start dash set, we won't really know um, until then. Three, two, one. So I definitely do plan on getting that. I just don't know if it'll be within the next couple of days or within the next month. Um, just because right now it is $94. So $94 is quite a lot right now during this time of year. But we're gonna go ahead and end this video off right here, you guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on whether or not switching the ratchet in different uh, ways actually has an effect on the bay. It's just a theory concept. Um, and it seems like it does. Like I said, to recap, it seems like it does. Um, Cause that was with the blades uh, not aligned. Now then let's do aligning the blades three two one yeah so it definitely seems like there is a difference um so yeah try it out for yourself especially if you do have the actual stadium and you do have both you know both the um drawn swords like you have the start dash set and then you have um the actual drawn sword definitely give it a shot for yourself see what you think um because like i said this this is more or less just like a theory and not necessarily to prove like not necessarily saying that it actually works um so yeah try it out for yourself and let me know what you think and as always thank you for the likes comments and subscribes with that being said three two one let it rip have a great day